Hey everybody, my name is DJ from Eternal Visuals and today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this title card from Prime's hit TV show Invincible in under 5 minutes. I didn't realize how big of a show this is and I love how in every episode they update the title card with even more and more blood as the episodes progress. But let's not waste any time, let's get into it. To start off, I went on a search for matching fonts. Thanks to our friends at Reddit, someone found the main font that they use in the show. It's called Shadows of Caesar. For the subtext, I went on to defont.com and found a sans serif font called Lemon Milk. Then I went to Google and found a free blood spatter file and then jumped over to upsplash.com for the distress texture for the background. I'll leave links in the description for all the fonts and image files. Let's head over to After Effects. Create a new project and create a new composition. Make sure to have at least 10 seconds on your timeline. Select the type tool and create your title. For today, I'm going to use motion title. Use the align tools to center your text and increase your font to about 500 pixels. This might be a little bit less or more depending on the amount of characters that you use. Just make sure to leave some space between the text and the border of your frame. Click the effects tab and under distort, select warp. Change the warp style to arc lower and adjust the setting to negative 13. To get the desired tilt on the text, toggle switch over so you can enable the text as a 3D layer. Rotate the text on the z-axis to get the right angle. Now it's time to bring in the background. Go to file, import, and import your distressed texture. Drag it onto the timeline below your text layer. Adjust the scale and the rotation so that the darkest elements are on top. Leave some padding outside of the composition for later. Grab your shape tool and create a new solid. Go to File, Import, and drag in a reference photo of the title. Reselect your solid layer, open the color panel, and select the eyedrop tool. Select the background in the reference photo in the preview window, and drag it underneath the distress texture. Select the distress texture, and under blend modes, click multiply. Go back to the effects tab and search for levels. Pull the white point far left to crush the highlights, and also crush the black levels just slightly. Go back to the effects tab and search for black and white. Drag it onto the distress texture, and this should get us to the desired background look we're going for. Drag the reference photo onto the timeline. Select your text layer. Open your color panel and use the eyedrop tool to get the right color yellow. Delete the reference photo and create a duplicate text layer using copy and paste. Open up the color panel and select a lime green color. In the text tab, search for directional blur and drag it onto your lower text layer. This will add a slight ink bleed effect to our text. Make the blur length 15. Now it's time to add some blood. Go to File Import and bring in the Blood Spatter file. Using Scale, Position, and Rotation, move the blood to the desired position. Make sure to leave some hanging outside of the composition for later. Under Blend Modes, click Multiply. Then in the Effects tab, search for Brightness and Contrast. Drag it onto your blood layer and decrease the brightness by 150. Bring the Blend Mode back to normal to prep it for blood drip animation. Make sure the entire timeline is deselected and select your Pen Tool. Using shift-click to create straight lines, as well as shift-click and hold to make curves, create your desired final drip shape. Using the eyedropper, select the color of the blood spatter. Move your timeline to 4 seconds, and under the shape settings, in contents, create a path keyframe. Then move the timeline back to 2 seconds. Using the pen tool, shift-click your bottom two curves, and then move them up together to fit inside the blood spot. Add ease and out, and you have your drip. Select both your drip shape and your blood layer, right click and create a new pre-comp. Title this Blood Drop. With your new comp selected, re-enter the blend modes and click multiply. Now we are going to create the spatter effect. At the two second mark on your timeline, create a mask around your blood drop comp with at least 10 points or so. Open your mask layer and create a keyframe. Move back one frame and leave about half of the blood still inside the frame. Then move back another frame and only leave just the main piece left. Then move back one more frame and move the entire mask outside of the composition. And that's it. To create your subtext titles, use the type tool with the medium lemon milk font. The top title should be about 38 pixels and the bottom title should be 50. Don't forget to pre-compose your title layers so they scale properly. Select all of your layers except your distress texture. Under the parents tab, link all of your layers to the distressed texture. Open the scale setting. Because the file is so large, you only need to move it about two points. 
make a keyframe at 25%, then move your timeline to four seconds and change it to 27%. All right, last step. With all of your subtext layers selected, mark and create transparency keyframes. Bring the timeline to 13 frames and bring the transparency down to zero. Right click to ease in and out, bring your timeline to one second and 10 frames and your subtext titles should fade in nicely and you're finished. Very subtle, but such a cool effect. I hope you learned something, and if you have any motion graphics you'd like to see tutorials of, leave a comment. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.